If you were catching this on the replay, this is a live booking blitz, but you can watch it. You can like see what we did and you can even host your own. So my name is Kathy Callahan and you're going to have to give me a minute because I'm going to make sure that I get this posted in the right place. And I need you to say, hey, if you are here and tap a bunch of hearts, if you are ready, I need to make sure this is streaming and it's smooth because if y'all know, I have horrible internet where I live. It is what it is. Diane, let me know if you're here because Diane's going to be helping me behind the scenes and it is time for our live booking blitz. Oh my goodness. Are you guys excited? I hope you're excited. We're going to help you get parties booked tonight. I'm going to make sure that it looks like questionable. My internet looks questionable. How is the volume? Like somebody typed to me in the comments. I see people are here. April's here. You guys, if you did not authorize StreamYard, I'll be able to watch your comments through my phone. So Marta's here, Carrie's here, April's here, Katie's here, Tiffany's here. Um, I just will be delayed on seeing your comments if you didn't authorize StreamYard. So somebody dropped me in the comments. Like the quality of the video looks ish, but how's the audio? Okay, is the audio good? Kaylee says all good on her end. All right, what I'm gonna do is you guys, before we get rolling, I'm gonna go copy this um, stream into the event. Okay, right now it's streaming inside of the group. You guys are in our Moms Building Online Businesses group and I set up an event. So I just wanna copy it. I wanna pin this to the top and then we're gonna do like the official getting started, like all the check-ins. O.M. Becky, I am freaking excited. All right, y'all, if you have not yet, okay, while we're getting set up, if you have not yet invited your friends in, like go do it right now. They have to be in this group, okay? They have to be inside of the group. And then Diane's helping me, oh my gosh, throw up a bunch of hearts for Diane. Diane is helping me behind the scenes and she is going to make sure that if anybody is requesting access to the group right now, we can still get them in. So if you're like, oh, I should have told my team, go tell them right now. All right, I'm posting this link into the event just in case anybody is looking for it there. Are y'all ready? We have 16 people. Start tagging and then we're gonna do our official. Oh, Tiffany said it's freezing a bit. Diane, message me if I'm freezing, please. I'll switch my internet over to my phone. If I'm freezing, tell me, Diane. I will switch my internet over to my phone. Y'all, I live in a little town. Okay, so if we don't know each other, you can build a business online with credit internet. It is possible. Oh, Diane said I froze. All right, I'm gonna switch my internet. Give me just a minute. I'm gonna switch my internet over to my phone and then we'll get rolling. And oh, well, it is what it is. This is my life. This is my life. Where's my internet cord? It's in my lap. Okay, I see everybody checking in. If you don't have the printout, if you wonder what they're talking about, There you go. Now you can hear me. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Jessica said she can't hear me. It should be back on. <laughs> we should be back on, y'all. We should be back on. All right. Double check with me that you're here, that we're good, and I want to roll. April, I'm back on, okay? I'm back in business. Hi, Eileen. Okay. Somebody said I'm muted, but I should be good. I'm good now, right? All right. We're good. We have 30 people. If you say yes or no, I need to know what you're saying yes or no about. Okay, if you don't have the checklist, Diane, will you please do me a favor and type in the comments that link to the checklist or anybody can do it, okay? It's actually inside of the group. I posted it today. It's a checklist so that you, it's like a tracker for this blitz. You don't have to have it. You can have, you can have a fancy pen and paper like I use, right? Whatever you want. Okay, let's do our official check-ins. Now, if we get to 100 people, I'm throwing in a $100 gift card. 
Like we got time, all right, y'all? Like go ahead and add some people into the group. It's not too late. Okay, so I'm watching this through StreamYard. So I'm a little bit delayed um, for me to see the comments if you did not authorize StreamYard, all right? So if you authorize StreamYard, I'll see your comments pop up at the same time we're starting. And here she says, yay, we're ready to go. Okay, who's ready? Here's what I need you to do. I need you to tell me, oh, Lindsay said, okay. I need you to tell me what company you're with, and if someone invited you into this group, tag them, like thank them, okay? Because I wanna do a prize for the person who invited the most people here, okay? We also have, somebody said they're popping out for a second to invite their team again, go do that. We also have a prize for the company that gets the most reps in here. Every single rep is gonna get a prize, okay? So it doesn't have to be your downline, it can be your sideline sisters, your upline, like invite them all and invite all your Drexel friends, all right? Crystal Harris is here. So my team, if somebody on my team would tag everybody, drop in our group chat, okay? Drop the company that you're with, tag who invited you here, and if you wanna get some people in, get them in. So you saw the agenda, right? If you didn't see the agenda, we're gonna chat a little bit first about how to get bookings. I'm gonna give you guys some ideas. Then we're gonna actually do the, book, the booking blitz. Y'all are gonna go out there and get some parties, okay? You're gonna go out there, you're gonna fill your calendar, and we're gonna have prizes. I'm actually gonna be doing some prizes throughout. And then at the end, we're gonna announce our winners for like the big prizes. Are you excited? Please tell me you're excited. All right, let's do our official welcome. My name is Kathy Callahan. I'm the creator of the Moms Building Online Business Group. I'm also the creator of Virtual Parties Made Successful, the Evergreen Party Group Funnel System, and PCAT University, which is where you guys will actually be able to access all the things that you're winning tonight, except for these two things. If you win one of these two things, I'll be mailing them to you. Who likes Starbucks and who likes Amazon? Which way? Who likes Amazon and who likes Starbucks? These are a couple of things we're giving away today. We're also giving away access to a couple of my challenges and courses. We're giving away some Trello boards. Like who knows about Trello? Do y'all know about Trello? I'm just gonna tell you right now. Diane is like the magic behind the scenes, okay? I put together the content like the videos and the training, and then she makes it look really pretty. So she has put together a couple things for you that we're going to be giving away. She's put together a Trello board that is a complete party tracker. In fact, do you guys want to take a peek real quick? I'll take, I'll show you. I'll show you some of the stuff we're giving away tonight. You guys are going to die. <laughs> You're going to die. You're going to want this stuff. If you are that like, I need all the things organized type person, let me share my screen real quick. Let me show you what we're giving away, some of what we're giving away, not all, okay? So Diane has made Trello boards. So we have a Booking Blitz Trello board. So if you guys get out of this Blitz and you wanna go repeat this with your team, Diane has put all this stuff that we're gonna do together tonight into a Trello board. Trello.com, it's free. It's just a way to organize things. It has your checklist in it. This is what you guys can go download, okay? So if you did not see this yet, oh, that's the wrong one. Hold on, that's inside of there too. Well, Diane linked it. Diane linked the, the checklist. She's got a checklist for you. That's the record sheet. Maybe it's that one. Let me see if this is the one that she linked for you. Okay, this. This is linked in the comments for you guys right now. So if you didn't download this and you want it, it's a free download. It's in the comments. But we've got this inside of your Trello board. We've got tons of different verbiage. We're going to go over some of these ideas with you guys tonight to get you into some fast action. This is something you could use to help your team do your own blitz, okay? That is the Trello board we have for you. We also have a virtual party, and I think this is the one. Let's see if this is the one we've got uploaded. Yes. If you've not taken the five-day virtual party challenge with me, okay, some of this might not be familiar. If you have, you know these things and you love these things. Diane put together a Trello board to help you do a successful party. So today we get to actually do the bookings, but y'all have to like set up a group, set up an event. This is like, these are some of the prizes we're giving away. We also have my Evergreen Party System. If you are in Evergreen, drop evergreen below. We're gonna be giving that away. That's a huge, it's like an online school course with a lot of coaching. We've got um, a virtual party five-day workbook, Trello board, training recorded, and you can do the live challenge. 
We've got a virtual party tracker and the two Trello boards. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. And I also have um, a social media strategy. I've got all kinds of stuff. Okay, if you have not yet, please tell me what company you're with. Diane's gonna be like tallying this stuff. Diane's gonna tally which company has the most reps in this channel or in this blitz, okay? She's, do y'all like this by the way? <laughs> Do you like it? I try to be, and look, if you get a booking, I'm going to do like this. <laughs> it's going to be fun. It's going to be amazing. Who tonight has a goal for a certain amount of bookings? Because in T minus 19 minutes, you're going to have to start asking for some bookings. And you want to walk out of this blitz with a calendar filled with bookings. Is that your goal? Is that why you're here? Okay. If you are not here for that, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> but if you are here to fill your calendar with virtual parties, because you know that they are a great way to build your network, you know they're a great way to share your products, you know they're an amazing way to work anywhere. Like y'all know I work out of my closet, right? Wherever you gotta be, that is what we're here for. Kaylee, I don't know what I said that's funny, but it's probably this, it's probably this. <laughs> Whoever wants one of those, you gotta get bookings. <laughs> Okay, last call for alcohol here. If you have not invited your friends in, get them in the group, okay? So we're gonna go through some booking ideas. If you have done the virtual parties challenge with me, you're gonna hear some familiar things from day one. I'm gonna share with you the way that I love to get bookings. It might be different. It might be a little bit more um, relaxed of an approach. So I'm not gonna be asking you guys to copy and paste 100 messages tonight. That is not what we're doing because y'all know if you've trained with me before, I don't think that that's effective and you guys are way better than copy and paste, right? We want authenticity. We want to have a personalized ask and we want to think of ways that we can be reaching people on social media to make this fun and effective, not just some other party that everybody's like tired of going to. Y'all know if you've trained with me before, that is my approach. Okay, so I'm going to pull up my notes because I need to get rolling. I don't want to miss a thing. Um, we've talked a little bit about all the giveaways we're doing during the hour that we're doing the Blitz while we're actually getting bookings. You guys are going to be like commenting when you get a booking. We're going to be cheering you on. We're going to be celebrating together. And I'm going to be like announcing some miscellaneous winners, things like that during the hour that we're actually booking. Okay. If you have not yet, please tag the person that invited you to this challenge or this blitz, I guess it is, um, so that I can also give credit to the person who invited the most people in. So if you haven't done it yet, go do it. Okay. If you have not liked or hearted this, uh, live video yet, do that because we're going to pull a winner from there. All right. And last time, if you have not yet said what company you're with, please do that for me. Okay. Um, so I've got to pull up my blitz notes and then we're going to get rolling. I hope you guys are excited. It's going to be amazing. Um, who has done the virtual parties challenge while I look for my notes that I don't see pulling up? Wouldn't that be my luck if my notes didn't copy? I will die. I will die if my notes did not copy that I sat here and did today. In fact, I will cry. <laughs> I will cry because I don't see my notes. Oh my God. All right. Guess what that means? Kathy Callahan gets to wing it. Kathy gets to wing it. Oh, well. Oh, there it is. It's called Booking Blitz. I know what I'm doing. Okay. So if you're ready to fill your calendar, drop I'm ready below. So if you have ever done virtual parties made successful with me, you know that we start off first with a positive mindset. Like y'all have to know that what you have is what other people need. Do you believe that? Like before you go ask for anything, you better believe that what you have is something that people want. Okay. So we talk a lot about, we talk, yeah, somebody said that's how I do best. Like impromptu. It is what it is. I got my notes though. Um, we talk a lot about having an understanding, not of what products you sell, but what those products can do for people. Okay. So whatever company you're with, when you go to ask people to book a party for you, you are not going to be saying, will you host a blank with the company name party for me? because that's not the value to somebody. We want them to understand like the transformation or the experience or the problems that we can solve. So if you've never trained with me before and you look at what I'm going to share with you as a way to get bookings, it's gonna come from that approach. Y'all need to be different. 
Y'all need to be different. Nobody wants to get, get invited to another one of the company parties. They want to have an experience with you. And that is what is going to lead the way in how you get bookings from now on if you have not already made that mind shift, okay? So you've got to get into the mindset that says, people need what I have. People want what I have. I am a business booking machine. Tell yourself whatever you got to tell yourself. Are you right now in a quiet space? Like seriously, it like if you know me, like three doors over, there's two kids screaming, <laughs> but they're locked out. They're locked out. Do that for yourself tonight. OK, get yourself in the quiet space because this is serious. Y'all are not here for a hobby. If you're here for a hobby, just type the word hobby below. You are not here for a hobby. You guys are building a business. You are building a business in the nooks and crannies of your time. And you've chosen virtual parties because they're stinking fun. You can get them done quick and they're effective, okay? Now, when you get the parties booked, April says she's in her quiet space. <laughs> Jessica said she's finally in a quiet space. Jessica's got four kids just like me. Except two of mine are older and they basically check out, like they don't make a lot of noise anymore. So um, Jessica's here to build her business. All right, so I don't even know where I was going with that, but the point is we wanna set some goals, okay? So I'm gonna pop this up and I'm gonna, I like, I need this from you guys before you even get started. I want to know what is your goal? For tonight, for tonight, what is your goal for tonight? How many bookings do you guys want? What is your calendar like looking like right now? If you have done virtual parties with me, I suggest two bookings a week. That does not mean you can't handle more, okay? Different companies will dictate different things, but in the company I'm with, if I do two parties a week consistently, that's eight parties a month. And with our average sales, that gets me exactly where I need to be. All right. Now, some of you superstars are going to think, gosh, I can book like eight, 10, 12. If you can book that many, what I would challenge you with is can you really serve that many people well? OK, so if you don't know what to do once you get a booking and you don't know how to host this coach and connect with guests before the party and put posts inside your group or event that are actually purposeful, not just fun and pretty, that give you like insight into your audience. If you don't know how to do a live party that's engaging, that people want to be there, and you don't know how to close to get a sale, to get a booking, to have leads that you can follow up with afterwards, if you don't know how to do that stuff, you need to be in the virtual party challenge, okay? That's what that's all about. If you know how to do all that stuff, you know that you cannot do that excellently with 50 people. You really can't. At that point, you're just like, you're selling, right? You're not serving. And if you want a business that's going to be here one year from now, there are things that I teach that you have to do really well. And that's the connection piece of the party. So that's why I don't encourage a thousand parties in one week. In my experience, when I've done like four to six to eight in one week, I never connected with that host very well. I did not coach her well. I did not interact with the guests. I was just like, post it, sell, post it, sell, post it, sell. And then I moved on. Y'all don't want to have to keep starting over, right? You want to get bookings off bookings. Okay, so let me double check that everything is still looking good and nobody's like yelling at me and telling me, hey, we can't hear you or anything like that. So I'm going to give you guys some very simple strategies to get bookings. Um, my approach is different, but I think it's fun. If you already have ways that you love to get bookings, you're just going to use the hour to use whatever strategies you already like. If you need some new ideas, that's what we're going to do in the next few minutes here, okay? Drink break. Everybody cheers. Tap the, hey, tap the heart button while I take a drink. <laughs> tap the heart button while I take a drink and let's get into booking ideas. Okay. Um, so if you, if you just popped in, hey, welcome. Tell us who invited you. Tell us what company you're here from. If you are catching this on replay, drop hashtag replay below. This is a live booking blitz. So if you guys kind of wish that your teams would have come in, they can go back and watch this. But when we do prizes, you can just make up the prizes for them, okay? You can like do the blitz. Everybody started at the same time. And you as the leader be the prize giver, okay? This is a little bit of training, but mostly it is like practical. Get it done. Y'all, here's what I want you to do, okay? If you have fears, if you have hesitations, if you've told yourself some lie that is not true and you're like, oh, like, I don't want to ask people for booking, like, stop that right now. Stop it right now. Get yourself in a position that says, 
in one hour from now, that's like, I'm going to feel, I'm going to worry about those feelings. I'm going to worry about how I'm going to feel in an hour, not how I feel right now. The nerves that I've had for the last like hour working up to this, I'm like, just wait and see how it feels when this is done, right? Focus on that. Stay focused on that. Sam said she wants to have 10 parties booked tonight. Now, Sam, make sure you divide them out, right? I would be filling our calendar for October and November tonight. So set your goals. Put that number on a piece of paper. Um, we always set goals in my business. And literally right now, Sam should just have a piece of paper that says 10. Y'all know that there's something about writing stuff down. It puts it in your brain differently. Now stick it in front of your face. <laughs> Seriously, do that. It's small, it's simple, and it's effective. Okay, so right now, uh, type in the comments below, how many parties do you want to get booked tonight? We're rooting for Sam for 10. If you guys walk out with one or two, that's one or two more than you had. And you might even win something, right? Um, on average, just so you guys know, going in, they say one out of every 10 will say yes, okay? I think that the things I'm going to share with you might get you a little bit more bookings on average. I hope that's my goal. So I'm going to tell you that my approach is to um, use my social media platform to attract people to me. So if y'all have heard of like attraction marketing, this is a lot of what I do. And I'm also going to tell you that right now I'm going to give you guys one or two bookings. This is going to be easy. You guys ready? Who wants me to give you a booking right now? Drop, I need a booking, I want a booking, drop something like that below. Because guess what? You already know this if you're in my challenge. We'll let you count it again, okay? Right now, you guys have, you guys have at least one booking and you haven't even had to do anything yet. And you might have two. Can you guess what they are? I know if you've gone through day one with me, you know what this is. Somebody says they need a booking. Jessica needs a booking. Somebody needs a booking. Y'all want my bookings for you. Aaron says I want a booking. <laughs> Who knows what I'm going to say? Yes, Jessica Quibby. When I do my challenge, I always say you are your first host. Right now, I don't care when you hosted for yourself last, I want you to get yourself on your calendar right now, okay? You have to book yourself. There's going to be two reasons for this. And you're going to understand as I teach you how to get bookings and funnel people down. If they don't say yes, you've got to be on your own calendar, okay? Someone said I can have parties for myself. If for any reason you can't host for yourself, I don't know what that reason would be, but if you can't host for yourself, I don't know what to say about that. I don't care about the rewards as much as just you having somewhere to take people, okay? So everybody right now, drop in the date, like book yourself, because y'all have to do this with the other people. Book yourself. It's only 724 and we haven't even officially started booking yet. And you guys can book yourself. Give me a date. One week from now, two weeks max from now, put yourself on your calendar. Okay. If you're like, oh crud, I don't know what to do after I book myself, you need to go through the party challenge. But most of you know what to do. Somebody said that they already host one time a week for themselves. So do I. So do I. You have to be your own host. I used to do it once a month. Now we do something a little bit different and we have a party group so I can host for myself once a week. All right, Kaylee's hosting for herself October 6th, which is tomorrow. That's my date. Kristen's got herself booked for the 12th. Crystal's got herself, oh, Duana's on the 12th. Crystal, yours was on the 13th. They're just popping up. Teresa's on the 17th. All right, so you guys got one booking. If you want to give yourself a second booking, that's also awesome because what you're going to be doing with your own booking is you're going to be inviting people in. But the key thing that I like to do is when I give you these ways to go get bookings, if somebody says, no, I will not book for you, I want you to write this down. Invite them to my party. Okay. So that's going to be the first thing you guys do tonight. When somebody says, no, I do not want to book for you, I want you to say, okay. I understand, but can you inv can I invite you to a party that I'm hosting? If they say no, you'd be like, mean person. I'm just kidding. Don't say that. If they say no, like move on. But you've got to have a way to funnel them down if they say no. You've got, you've got to give them like the next best thing. And if you can get them to the party that you're hosting and you can give them a good, fun, positive experience and you play a simple little booking game, they might just book for you even when they told you no initially, okay? So I see lots of dates. You guys are on your own calendar. Remember when people say no tonight, it's gonna be normal. 
It's going to be okay. It does not mean your products suck. It does not mean anything, except it just means no. It's just a word. <laughs> it's literally just a word. So remove everything bad that you told yourself about that no, that you told yourself it reflected on you. And it's just a word. It's just another word in the dictionary, okay? But when they say no, you are not going to be like, okay, shh, delete. Like, I never want to even talk to them again. I'm so embarrassed they said no. No, like no big deal. Totally understand. Can I, can I invite you into one of mine? Can y'all do that? Like type right now. What are you going to say if somebody says no? Okay. All right. I'm going to give you a couple things to start running with right now. And then while we're doing our booking blitz, I'm going to keep just talking about different ideas. Okay. So while we're talking about different ideas, you are either going to be busy working and getting bookings, or you're going to be waiting for an idea that resonates with you. And you're like, Ooh, didn't think of that. I want to run with that. All right. So at 730, don't be starting yet. At 730, you're going to get to run with any of the ideas I share with you, any of the ideas that you already have to book parties. And you can be listening to this in the background for more ideas. And I'll be doing like some looking at comments. Um, I'll be looking at um, announcing some winners. All right. So I see lots of parties booked. I'm so proud of you guys. Okay. So if you are uh, new to any of my trainings, I love curiosity posts. And I want everybody who is willing to post something on your Facebook wall, if you are branding yourself on social media, if people know that you're in business, if you're proud of what you do, you should be proudly branding yourself, not putting your company's name all over your social media, but creating curiosity around what it is you do. So write this idea down first, and then I want you to drop in the comments below what kind of post you can go post at 7.30. That's a, a curiosity post, okay? Now, I like to be a little cryptic. I like to be a little cryptic. I like to work around it a little bit. And here's something that I would go post if this was me, okay? Oh, let me remove that banner, by the way. If I would do something, I would say like this. Here's a post that I would do. Um, it could be a, called an engagement post or it could be called a curiosity post, depending on how you do this. I would, I would go post on my Facebook wall right now, if this were me, I would post it in bold text. You know what that means where you only type so many characters and then Facebook lets you put like that colored background behind it. In fact, let me just screen share. Here's my curiosity post that I'm going to go do. And you guys can decide. This is what I would say. I would say, I need five friends to help me out. <laughs> I've got one hour. That's very direct. And they're going to be like, what is it? All right. I need five friends to help me out to to do me a favor i have one hour okay so if you post it very like a simple thing like that and then you change your little background here right do you understand that's bold text this is something that you can very quickly do go post all right people are going to be like what is it what is it like what can i do what is what is the favor when they comment that i will message them and say I'm in a booking challenge. I'm doing a booking blitz to get some quick and fun virtual parties on my calendar for October. Now, what are you guys offering? Okay. I like to do themes. So a theme could be like, what are you guys doing for October? We're doing like fit for fall. Um, maybe you're doing a de-stress and relax party. Maybe you're with a nail company and you're doing manicures in a minute. Drop some theme ideas below. So when they comment, they're like, what's the favor? How could I help you out? I'm like, I'm just looking for a couple people to get some friends together over in a private Facebook event. It's gonna be super quick. It's gonna be fun. And we're doing moms and margaritas. I don't know, I just made that up. You can't do that online. <laughs> that just came out of my mouth. What is the theme? What kind of party do you wanna offer them? Don't say I'm looking for a couple friends to host your company's name party. That does not sound fun. What's in it for them? Make it a theme, make it fun, make it exciting, okay? So drop some of the themes into, oh, that's cute, a makeup graveyard idea, okay? So drop some themes below. If you go to your Facebook post, you can be very like cryptic like that. Like I need a favor, I need five friends to do me a favor. You can also be very direct and you can say, I'm in a booking blitz looking for five friends who are wanting to earn some free products. Drop me below, okay? Now, Another thing that I like to do to get bookings with curiosity posts, this is this is how I do it. I'm with a company that has like energy drinks. So sometimes I'll do a picture. And you guys have seen me do this if you've seen my post. I'll be like this. <laughs> Some kind of ridiculous photo like. And then I'll be like looking for five friends to get their hands on my favorite energy drink. Okay. When they drop me, 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 me in the comments, 
y'all know, I message them and I say, hey, I saw you commented on my post. I'm doing a fun booking challenge and I'm giving away some of my favorite energy drink. Can I save a date for you? Get a couple friends together for a fun, whatever theme party it is. And I'm going to gift you this item. Now, y'all make a decision as business owners what you want to give and if you want it to be connected to sales or just them hosting for you. Okay. So I'm going to keep going through some ideas. It is 731. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to just keep giving you ideas. Listen to this in the background. All right. Have your leads list of the people you're asking, either on that tracker or on a piece of paper. Look at people who've said that they'll host for you, but maybe not right now. Go back to them. Do the curiosity post to grab some new people. Go to your best customers. And I'm going to give you an idea for that. For the next hour, I need you to start booking. But here's what I want to know before you do it, because this is going to be part of the end. Okay. What do you think is your personal best, like the most parties you've ever had? And this is not a contest. It's only a contest with yourself. So listen to this fully. What is the most parties you've ever had on your books for one month? And I want you to type something for me below and I'm going to type it in the comments. I want you to type PB, which will stand for personal best. And I want you to type a number. Okay. I want you before you go out and get these bookings, I want your PB and your number. Okay. So is your personal best two? Is your personal best eight? Is your personal best zero? What is your personal best? Because you're only going to try to one up yourself, not each other in this part. Okay. So drop your personal best below before we get rolling. And then over the next hour, you can use any of the ideas that I'm sharing to get bookings. Go throw that curiosity post out there. See if you can capture some interest. Okay. April, your goal is to max out or to go past four tonight. That's that's like our big goal is to get more than four on your calendar. So if you already have three, get two more. You've you've maxed out. You've gone past your personal best. OK, um, if you've had none, all we need is one and you've beat your personal best. OK, so I want you guys to really look at what it is that you need. Set your goals and get your personal best. Now, as we're getting bookings, if you get a booking, I want you just to type in the comments below. I got a booking. I'm going to celebrate with you. I want you to tally these yourself, like make a tally mark, because at the end, you're going to be turning in how many bookings you got. Okay. Don't worry about the no's. No is not right now. No is never. No is, I don't know what no is, but we're looking for the yeses. Okay. So next opportunity, whatever you want to tell yourself about the no, let's just move on and look for the yeses. Okay. So go ahead and start your bookings. I can't see what you're doing. This is honesty policy. I'm going to just keep rolling through some ideas. I'll be popping them up on the screen. Okay. So we did the curiosity post. If you came up with a curiosity post and you posted it on your Facebook wall, I recommend to actually do your curiosity post as public. Okay. And then if you want to share the link down into the comments of this live video of the curiosity or engagement post, whatever you did, Share the link into the comments, and then I'm going to be doing a drawing for someone. I'll pick someone who did a post out on your Facebook wall. Okay. So, Curiosity Post is one of our drawings. The company with the most people is one of our drawings. Like, like heart, like all the things. I'm going to be doing one of those as drawings. The person who invited the most in is going to be one of our drawings. Okay. Um, you guys, for the next hour, you're booking. If you need to, like, Turn this down so you can get booking. That's fine, but I'm just going to keep talking through it. I'm going to give you some more ideas. Okay, so my next favorite way, if you've like been in my challenges, I know some of this is repeat, but don't worry, you're going to get some new stuff, is to go to your best customers. So if you are kind of listening and you have customers already, type the word customer below. So what I like to do is I like to go to my best customers and I like to say, hey, best customer, I'm doing something new. Okay. Now, if you're not new into Facebook parties and you've already done them before, you can just say, hey, best customer, I've got a couple open dates for this month. And I like to offer an exclusive host deal. All right. What is the exclusive host deal? I don't know. Make it up. Like y'all, like don't overthink this stuff. Okay. If your best customer that you're going to is someone that you know the language they speak, you know what they love, you know what's going to get them to say the yes, lead with that. OK, 
okay? You're business owners, so make a decision for yourself what you're willing to gift to get a booking. Because bookings are like Y'all need like to keep meeting new people, right? We've got to expand our network. We want to be in different time zones. We want to be in different countries. So in order to do that, you've got to get out of the small network you that you're in. Otherwise, your business like it doesn't it's it doesn't go anywhere, and that's why people quit. You've got to meet new people. So go to your best customers and say, Hey, listen, Robin. By the way, this is one of my best customers that I asked her forever to do a booking for me. And she kept saying, no, no, no. Finally, I spoke to her. Jean did her curiosity post. We're going to take a look at that in just a second. Go to your best customer and say, hey, best customers, one or two. I'm in this little booking challenge. I've got one hour and I, I put together an exclusive hostess set. I wanted to offer it to you first. OK, what is it? Like I said, make it up. Is it going to be $50 in extra host rewards? Is it going to be a favorite things goodie bag? Is it going to be some product you have on your shelf? Maybe it's a retired product, or maybe it's a product that you got from extra rewards from your company, or is it a $10 Starbucks gift card? It doesn't always have to be your products, okay? So go to those people and just tell them, I've got two that I can give. I've got one hour to get the yes, and I thought of you first. Are you interested? Okay, so I might go to Tina and I might say, Tina, I just got my hands on something I know you're going to love. I wanted to come to you first and offer this to you. If you'll get a couple girls together on a fun, simple Facebook event party, whatever y'all want to call it, I'm going to give you this for being one of my hostesses. Okay, if you need to qualify that with when your party reaches amount of sales, or if you get five people on the live party, that's what I like to do. You can qualify it that way. All right, let's take a peek. Um, Jean went and did, oh, I don't know if I can copy this. Diane, can I copy this? I wanna, I wanna see what Jean's curiosity post is, but I may not be able to because I'm on StreamYard. Jean did her post, April did her post, and now I want to see what they are, okay? Um, so I'm going to take a peek at these. You guys can get some ideas from each other. You are not in this alone. So we've talked about curiosity posts as a way to just get some people commenting, give you some conversations, like that's what y'all want, right? You want some conversations. We talked about going to our best customer and having some kind of exclusive host deal. Now, you guys, I like to use another verb, um, another scripted thing, if y'all want to say script. That works really, really well for me. And I'll pull, I'll type this up in the uh, comments in a second here because I'm trying to see the um, 430 comments. Holy Moses, you guys are com commenting like crazy. Okay, so April, there's your post. Oh, perfect. Okay, April's was super simple. It's exactly what I said. Kudos to you, April. You are now in our drawing for doing your curiosity post. There it is. Um, you guys take note of this. I'm going to do another drink break. Take note of her uh, her post on her wall. Do you see that there's a little world there? If y'all are on your phone, this might be little. That means it's public, okay? If you copy me over a link that's not public and we're not friends, I won't be able to see it. So if you'll put it as public, that means yes, that anybody can see it, even if they're not your friend, but we're not asking to put your kids or anything private on your Facebook wall. Okay, so let me see if I can access another one. Good job, April. Let's see who else did one. I'll stop the share for, well, I'll just leave the share for a second. Uh, uh, Maggie said she can't figure out how to share a link. I will show you how to do that. I want to see if I can see Jean's um, post, but with the new way that Facebook sends. Okay, a couple people don't, okay, y'all that don't know how to share your link. Are you on your computer or are you on your phone? Okay. If you're on your computer, when you go to your post, so right here, it'll just say copy link. And I've got to look in the settings. Share, copy link. Uh, where's my copy link on the new Facebook? Okay, if you're on your phone, click on the share button and it should say copy link. If you're on your computer, just copy your Facebook profile right from up here. Just copy that, post that in, and I'll be able to go right to your Facebook and see it, okay? If you're on your phone, it should say share and then copy link. But if not, just share your Facebook profile. I'll be able to jump over to it, and that will be fine, okay? Um, does anybody else hate the new Facebook? <laughs> okay, so um, let's review curiosity posts. Drop them in the comments below. And maybe if you are sharing your post, Vicki has done hers. Lindsay has done hers. 
Oh, Diane said I can't on StreamYard. Okay, if you cannot copy the link, just put your profile in the comments and then maybe type like curiosity post after it so that I can see that, okay? So that would be super easy. So we did curiosity posts. We did going to our best customers. Here's my next favorite verbiage. Now, I want you to be purposeful and thoughtful about this script. Scripts that work, okay? This is different than a copy and paste, and I need you to listen to me on this. You are not going to copy and paste the same message to all the people, all right? But I'm gonna give you the general words to say, and I want you to personalize what you say to the person, okay? A very simple, easy script when you're in a, a booking blitz like this. You all have 59, 49 more minutes, 49 more minutes. You can message people on your Facebook. They do not have to be your best friends. You want to start with the people who I call your CPR people, the people who love you, right? The people who want to help you out the most, start with those people. Even if they don't like love your products, they love you. Start with those people, but then if you want to expand into other people on your Facebook wall or, or friends list, that's fine, but you have to personalize this. I will type to someone, I'll say, hey, April, I'm in a super quick booking blitz. I thought of you because, I don't know, you love health and wellness. I see you in the kitchen cooking all the time. You're my best friend, you're my cousin, and I know you love me. And I'm looking for a couple people that will host a quick little Facebook event for me. I'll make it quick, I'll make it fun. And this is what I say. I literally do not care if people buy my products. I am just trying to get bookings on my calendar so I can get more experience, okay? Or you might say, I'm just trying to meet new people. Now, that is true for me. Y'all make a decision for yourself, okay? When I was starting my virtuals from my closet, I had to get out of this little small network that I had. Like, do you guys feel that way? Like you need a new network. Who needs a new network? Okay, if you're, if you're listening and you're not running with bookings right now, drop below if you need a new network. The biggest struggle that I see in network marketing is people feel like they've run out of people, right? And you need to like meet some new people. So if you can go to some of the people that you know well and just start with them and say, hey, Amber, you're my cousin. I know you love me. I'm doing these fun little Facebook events. I'm in a booking challenge right now. I've got 40 minutes to get a couple cal um, couple dates booked on my calendar. Would you help me out and just get a few friends together in a little Facebook event, okay? That's like kind of what's in it for you, but these are, the, these are like your warm market people that I usually do this with, my CPR people, the people that I love, the people that love me. And a lot of the people that I have met came from the people that I knew even when the people I know and knew didn't want my products and or service, they knew people who did. All right, y'all, you have to get out of this network. Okay, Sam's got one. Okay, watch. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo, Sam! Everybody cheer for Sam. Sam Telly, that one. She's got a booking for the 13th. Sam, if you have a second, just drop us below what you did to get that booking, okay? Um, I'm looking at your guys' comments. Diane's helping me with the comments too. From the live to send a message, but still hear the live. Uh, Kaylee, I don't know what that exactly means, but you should be able to just open up another tab on your computer and still hear everything, okay? Or if you have to mute me for a minute, that's okay. Um, Eileen, tell me what that means. Mind booking event, tell me what that means. Tell me what that means again, okay? Or tell me that in a different way so I understand it, okay? Um, so we've talked about curiosity posts to get some conversations going. We talked about um, going to our best customers. We talked about directly reaching out and asking some of the people that we know to do us a favor. If you're gonna do this with strangers, and I don't mean like never do cold messaging. I'm not about cold messaging. But if you can kind of look through your Facebook wall and maybe there's some moms that you've networked with in a group or maybe there's people in it, like say you guys are in like um, workout groups or something and your products can kind of tie into that. Maybe you've been having conversations with people. You can reach out to them, but make it personalized. So when you go to somebody that you don't know that well, you have to tell them what's in it for them. They only care about what's in it for them. And if they're not people who already know and love your products, what I like to say, and I'm going to get my banners back up, um, what I like to say to those people is just, hey, 
Christina. I know we're in a healthy living group together. We've connected a little bit in the, in the um, comments. I thought of you tonight because you really seem like a person who might be interested in something fun that I do. I host these quick little Facebook events where I get a couple girls together and I just teach them, and this is for me, like with my company, what we do, but I just teach them some healthy mom hacks. What could I do to make it worth your time to get a few girls together? I'll reserve a date. I do evenings on Tuesdays and evenings on Mondays. Which one would be best? Y'all know scripted verbiage, but you have to insert how it's like beneficial to them and you have to make it personal. That's what will be the difference in getting results is not just copy and paste. OK, um, Eileen, your personal party. Awesome. OK, um, she's got her party booked for the 13th. OK, remember, if people are saying no, be inviting them to the to the party that you booked. Don't forget that. OK, if they say no. If they say not right now, you're, you're going to say, no big deal. Completely understand. By the way, I'm actually hosting my own party on next Tuesday. Could I just have you be one of my guests? It's going to be fun. You'll get to check out what we're doing, all the good things. Okay. Kristen says she has one book tomorrow since she has her weekly party and set already and set one for next Tuesday, Tuesday the 12th. <laughs> good job, Kristen. Awesome. I'm so proud of you guys. This is way too much fun. Okay. Let's keep going through ideas. Um, let me look at my ideas. Where did my ideas go? Booking blitz. Okay. Uh, curiosity posts we did. Da 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 da. When you get a booking. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Okay. Group post. Who has a Facebook group of any kind? If you has a, if you have a Facebook group, some of you um group. Let's say a group game. Okay. Let's say VIP group, etc. Okay. If you have a group that you run, if you have a group that you're like in charge of, it's your VIP group. It's a value group. It's a party group. If you've done the evergreen course with me, you're creating a party group. Okay. If you have a party of any kind, you can be more direct. Or if you have a group of any kind, you can be more direct inside of your group with a post. And I'll show you one I just did in my party group. I actually got uh, four bookings last Tuesday from this, which sometimes I don't get any. So it is what it is. Like we're not going to stress over the results. We're just going to focus on the ask and the activity. Okay, so I want to show you guys this game I did. It was quick. It was simple. It's very much um, similar to what you guys just did on your Facebook wall, but it is more direct. All right. I posted in here and I can't even find it. I'm just going to tell you what I said. I posted in here last Tuesday after a party. I said um, the first five people. Yes, five. Oh, here it is right here. The first five people to comment the word host. Here, let me pull it up for you guys. You guys can go do this in your VIP groups, okay? Um, and you've got to decide what offer you're going to give them. They want to know what's in it for them. Okay. I said host game. First five, yep, five to comment host gets one of the mini, the new holiday minis, okay? You can do a direct call to action like this, but I do reserve this more for groups where they already know about your products. They're people who are already in there and they like what you have. So they've established a relationship with you and they want the products. This is effective in a VIP group. This is effective in any, if, if you have a group where they know you sell this product, right? Um, edit the verbiage and what you could say in your group is, Host game, I'm in a booking challenge. The first two people to drop host in the next 30 minutes I'm going to give you blank. What are you going to give them? Just make it up, right? What do you have to give them? Um, we know that our mini holiday line is, or our holiday line's coming out this month. So I just offered that because that's like something new and different. And I know people want it. Do you have a retire? You guys that are with Sensi, um, and I, I don't know all the companies, okay? But you guys that are with Sensi, and it's like a smell that you can't get anymore. If somebody could get me that, um, Lindsay got another booking. <laughs> Yay! If you are with a company where something is no longer available, those are great things to post inside of your VIP group, okay? Um, so go ahead and do that. If you do post, can you guys drop, um, you probably can't, in the comments, does it let you do a picture? If so, you could just screenshot what you're posting. And if you do a, a personal post on your Facebook wall, or if you do a post inside of your group you can like do a screenshot and show people what you're posting all right sam <laughs> sam got another party booked for wednesday the 28th at 7 45. 
she called another best customer who's in a completely different age group and friend circle than her first. You're expanding your network. What did you do to ask? Like, drop us in the comments below what you did to ask. Okay, um, my next idea. I need another drink of water. Holy Moses. Okay, and just a reminder, if people say no, you need to ask them to come to your party. That will not count as a booking, but that's a win, right? If you can get them over to your party, you know you have a next. And I always talk about just have a next. Have a next and then relax. As long as you've got a next with somebody, just chill. Okay, um, next thing. Are you guys ready for this? This is going to be amazing if you guys will go do this. <gasps> Who loves live video? If you are listening and you're not like crazy booking right now, drop me in the comments below how you feel about live video. I used to hate it, but it is like one of the best ways for you to connect with people on your personal Facebook wall to start like establishing you as a like human, create some qualities about you that um, they start to know you like you trust you, right? So when you do an offer, they're like, oh yeah, that's that girl that's always on Facebook with her crazy kids. <laughs> that's my story. That's that girl that's on Facebook. Um, sharing whatever you're sharing, like doing her nails. I just do I just do life stuff out on my live video. Now, if you're bold enough and you're brave enough, you guys have 38 minutes still in this booking blitz. Right now, I would go live. In fact, oh, I can't go live because I'm on StreamYard. I would go live. And if you've done your personal uh, curiosity post already, this is a follow-up for it. What you could do is you could say, I'm going to type in that here. I'll type in what I would say if I was going live. Don't be scared. Y'all get over the scared stuff because in 30 minutes from now, it's going to be over, right? 30 minutes from now, it's going to be over and all those feelings or whatever are going to be gone. Um, so let's say you're going to go live. I'm going to say, who just, who saw my last post? Uh, maybe I might say feeling nervous, but here goes nothing, okay? When you're going to do live video, you want to make, you want to type something that's going to make people want to hit play, okay, or, or watch it. So if you want to go live right now, you could go live and you can say, guys, I cannot believe I just hit the live button, but here I am. I'm in this booking challenge. I'm giving away some of my favorite things, and I've put together a couple of fun, quick Facebook events. We're going to be doing, and don't tell them the company name. Y'all create curiosity. You know you know to do this, right? I'm going to be um, putting together a couple fun mom hack parties, a couple fun uh, cooking in the kitchen with me, and we're going to make some of my favorite meals. I'm going to teach you and your friends how to use some of my, like my, my most favorite blender to make healthy smoothies, whatever you're going to make. So just go live and say, I'm terrified, but this girl... <laughs> told me I had to hit the live button and just see if any of my friends are interested in earning some of my favorite things. If so, drop the word me below. If not, no big deal. I'm so glad this live video is over. See you later. Bye. Now, y'all can do live like that. You can do live like that. You can be more purposeful if you're more confident and go on and say, hey guys, this is Kathy. I'm doing something really fun tonight. I'm actually in the middle right this second of a live booking blitz. So some of you know that I do a network marketing company and I'm always looking for a way to meet new people. So I'm actually in a big challenge with like, oh gosh, 50 friends and it's a contest. <laughs> It's a contest and I want to win. So I'm looking for a couple of my friends who might be willing to help me out and get a few friends together inside of a Facebook event. I'm going to make it worth your time. This month, we're doing some awesome things for our hostesses. And you guys like tell them a little bit about what's in it for them. So I might say like right now we're doing um, October Extreme Giveaway. So I might tell them if you, if you get a few friends together over on a little Facebook party for me, I'm actually going to put you into a drawing for a $10 gift card or something like that. Say whatever it is and just say, all right, if you guys are willing to help me out, please like drop me below right now. I've got 30 minutes. If not, I'll see you later, okay? So Lindsay's got number three. <coughs> April's got one on November 1st. <coughs> and Sam, Sam, girl was like, this is what's happening. I need your help. This stuff right here works really, really well with your warm market, okay? Don't be afraid to ask for help in your warm market. Those people lo love you, know you, like you, trust you, all the things. Sam said her ask, said, please help me. She's like, right to the point. I need your help. If it was one of those like spam emails, it would be like, please help me. Can you please send me $5,000? <laughs> 
<laughs> right? I'm stranded in the middle of like a different country. No, she didn't say that. that. I get those emails all the time. She says, I'm in a booking blitz. I just learned something new. Um, and she said, there's three things you need to do. Oh, you're all about the three things. I love that about you, Sam. You're so on purpose. She finished the quick. Oh, you called him. You called on the phone. Girl, you're awesome. Um, so if you guys want to try a live video, go try it out. Um, all right. We're going to do a prize. Uh, it's going to take me a minute to get my, my stuff together here. I'm going to do um, a prize. Let's do, hey, Diane, will you tell me something uh, maybe in my messenger? Will you tell me if you have been tallying what company everybody is from, okay? Um, if we have that number yet, and if not, that's okay. And then will you also tell me if you have been tallying, which I didn't ask you to do, uh, when people have tagged people, have you been tallying at all, like who's invited the most people? If so, I can do that winner, okay? Um, in the meantime, I'm just gonna do a random comment winner. So I'm gonna do a prize for random comment winner and i literally am just going to scroll the comments and i'm gonna pick somebody okay now i've got this little fancy board <laughs> don't you guys you guys know that done is better than perfect right i started to stress out about this stuff and i said i just got to get it done i'm using my dollar general board and this is what's happening i'm going to number these prizes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven we have 12 prizes if i call your name i'm just going to pick a random person who's commented anything in this live which means you're here you're going to get to pick a number and i'll tell you what's on that number okay so let me jump over to the comments let me see if anybody else got more bookings Ooh, kristen <laughs> Booked three for the last Tuesday in October. Um, April, I can't remember if I already cheered for you on this. <laughs> Sarah on the 8th. You guys, this has to feel amazing. Doesn't it not feel good to get some yeses? Okay. Um, okay, Diane said, oh, I froze. When did I freeze? I hope that, oh, that was a long time ago. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, so you guys, if you have not yet, Last call again, last call again. Please tell us what company you're with because Diane is counting. Like everybody should have only said that one time, but the company you're with so that we can give the reps from that company a prize, okay? So that one we may not announce till the end just because. And if you did not yet, tag the person who invited you in so we can like put them in a drawing, okay? Um, I don't know who you are because I can't see the comments if you didn't authorize StreamYard. But somebody got a party booked for the 18th of October. <laughs> Congratulations. And Stacy got one booked for October 10th. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh my gosh, April girl, you're like rocking it out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> By now, I think you have like met your own personal best, haven't you? Like beat it? I think you have. Renee, <laughs> <laughs> is that getting old yet? I hope not. Okay, random comment winner. Oh my gosh, except you guys keep getting bookings. <laughs> Good job, Joanna. That's my mom's birthday in heaven. My mama in heaven's birthday. Okay. Oh, look, Vicky just got two. I really am going to pick a winner. <laughs> we have to do this again sometime. <laughs> if you guys ever want to do this again, type me. I want to do it again because I'm having too much fun. If everything doesn't go smoothly, it's because this is my first one. We never do blitzes like this. All right. Somebody else got a booking on the 20th. <laughs> okay, I literally am just gonna scroll the comments. Like I'm just gonna go up, down, up, down, up, down. And at some point I'm just gonna hit stop. And whoever's comment that is, I need you to pick a number. And that person, hopefully you like authorize StreamYard so I can see your name. That person will get to pick a number and I'll tell you what prize you want. Okay, so I'm just scrolling, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down. I'm gonna click. Diane, you can't win. <laughs> Diane, I have to pick a new winner. Diane basically already has all my prizes. <laughs> okay, Diane, you're doing awesome. You guys, that's who, that, see Diane right there? She's behind the scenes on everything. Like y'all need to like put up a bunch of love for her because she's really making all the beautiful things happen. All right, I just get to be the crazy one on the camera. Here we go. Let's try again. Down and up and up and down. <laughs> let's pick a new comment and let's hope it's not Diane. Teresa Martin. Teresa Martin, are you on here? Like, Teresa, can you hear me? 
I want you to pick a number between one and 12, and I'm gonna tell you what prize you won, okay? Teresa just won a random comment winner, and I need to know what you wanna win. So I'm gonna pop over here, and I'm gonna say, Teresa Martin, Teresa Martin, what num, pick a number, pick a number one through 12, okay? If you guys know Teresa Tagger, and then maybe she'll see this. Okay, so Teresa just won our first prize. And you guys, I just saw somebody else got a booking. Um, and I see some of you guys are posting your, your wall post. Is anybody getting any traction from your curiosity posts? If you are, like, let us know. Oh, Teresa picks number eight. All right, I'm gonna look at number eight in just a second. I saw somebody that just, okay. I think, I think I saw more bookings. October 15th for somebody, October 13th for somebody. I think I might've already done the 20th, the 16th. I might've already celebrated these, but keep on going. All right, number eight for Teresa. Teresa, I'm nervous and I'm excited. I don't even know what's on number eight. Ooh, Teresa, you get the Trello board for a booking blitz. Did you get to see this in the beginning? You guys, if you don't win these prizes, they will be available if you want to go purchase them. And there's going to be a special, massive blitz discount that's open only for 24 hours once this is over. Okay. So, Teresa, you won the Booking Blitz Trello board. If you are brand new to Trello board, you're going to fall in love with it. Diane knows how to make these things. I don't know how to make them, I just know how to look at them. Okay, so here is what you got, and we will be giving, sending this link to you so you can access it. You get access to everything that we're doing with all the downloads for the booking blitz, for the party trackers, um, how to do your own blitz if you wanna do your own blitz. Inside of here is a contact checklist. There's verbiage that you can send to all kinds of different people, okay? So if you know people in direct sales and y'all wanna party swap, we can talk about that idea next. If you have certain types of people, there are personalized asks, okay? Personalized verbiage inside of this booking blitz. There's all kinds of them inside of here. How to overcome objections, okay? We're not doing a whole training on all this. This is a lot of stuff I do in the party challenge. Congratulations, post and how to follow up with people, okay? So you will get access to this. I will be sending that to you. Do me a favor, Teresa Martin, will you private message me, okay? Private message me and say, booking blitz Trello board, okay? Just uh, type me that message and I will be sure to get that to you, okay? Um, let's talk, uh, Amanda Mace said yes in my VIP group. Does that mean, oh, I need a race number eight, by the way. I need to write Teresa down. Amanda, does that mean that you got some traction with your post inside of your VIP group? Okay. If so, that is awesome. And Amanda, I have to take a drink. I need lots of drinks. I love that because Amanda came over to one of my parties on Tuesday of last week. And she's one of my hostesses for tomorrow night. Through that quick little I've got five to give away. If you drop host below, she played that game like within minutes we had bookings, okay? Sometimes those things work. Sometimes they don't use them um, sparingly. Okay, we got 26 more minutes. What idea did I just say we were gonna do? Oh, party swap. Okay, now I want you to make good decisions about if you wanna do this one or not, but this can work. Um, I want you to not make yourself crazy about party swapping, but party swapping is a way to get bookings, especially if you are newer and you're really trying to get that ball rolling. You can reach out to some of your direct sale friends and you can say, hey friend, not sure about you, but I could use a couple more bookings on my calendar for October or for November. What do you think about swapping parties? Most direct sales people are gonna say yes if they don't already have a full calendar and they're gonna be good hostesses typically because they know the process, right? You won't have to do as much hostess coaching. That doesn't mean you shouldn't, right? So for Amanda, um, I shouldn't assume you know exactly how to do this, but typically it's not like as foreign for them to, to do some of the hostess coaching and how to you know invite their friends and stuff. If you do a party swap, I would not party swap with like 15 different people because you're gonna be needing to invite your network over to those parties and maybe make it like a company that's really different than the products you sell. I love like the jewelry companies. My company has nothing to do with jewelry. My friends like jewelry. 
I would like to earn some jewelry because I'm not a big like style queen. So that would be fun for me, okay? So if you wanna party swap with somebody from a different direct sales company, that is a way that you can get some bookings. And I would just probably say, um, you know, let's make it fun, let's make it simple, let's just kind of party swap and get into each other's networks. You could, oh, let me celebrate Heidi. Woohoo! Ah! Heidi has two on the 13th because Hardy, Heidi is doing a party group now. If y'all do not know what a party group is, and you want to know about a party group. It's one of my courses and Heidi's in it and she's learning how to maximize doing a party inside of a group, having multiple hostesses on one night, how to funnel people into her group and how to get the biggest results out of that. So congratulations, Heidi. Now, where was I at in my train of thought? Swatch, swip, swapping with direct sales people, getting into to each other's network. You could host together. Have y'all done this? Maybe, and I think Jessica Quivy said this idea. Um, you guys can do, I don't know if you call them vendor fairs. I don't do this personally, but you guys could um, come together with other direct sales people. And instead of swapping parties, you could come together. I know Tina Buck does this. And you could do a vendor fair with multiple companies that are not competing products. So tonight you could reach out to a couple of your direct sales friends and just say, hey, do you want to put together like a holiday? Um, what do y'all call it? You guys have like way better ideas than me. What do you call your vendor fairs? I just think vendor fair. What's the word now? I don't know. Holiday swap and shop. And that wouldn't be it. Holiday. Um, somebody give me a thing because I can't think right now. I don't do vendor fairs, obviously. But a lot of people love those and they do them. Okay. Sam got another booking. <laughs> Picking up the phone. Okay. You guys. Just because you're in a social media business does not mean that you can't use texting and you can't use your telephone, all right? You all know that I give mostly ideas of what to do um, through social media because I'm almost always on Facebook. That's where I work. That's what I like to do. But you guys have a phone and you have people in your um, phone book right now, like your phone book on your phone, and you could text them. And I just talked to Leela and Heidi tonight. And I love what Leila said. She's like, it's very different for people to get a text these days. Whereas on Facebook Messenger, depending on your network, you might get a lot of Facebook messages. So if you guys don't do a really good job of personalizing it and making it very special, they just delete it. It's just somebody else sending a message. So if you texted it to them or phone called them, awesome job, Sam. Okay. Somebody says they're doing a vendor fair to help our local animal shelter. I love that. All right, let me get back into my notes. Are we all remembering to funnel people into your own party? Okay, drop me in the comments below if you guys are doing that. So if somebody did not say yes and they said no, did you just walk away from the no or did you guys go ahead and ask them to be a guest at one of your parties? Don't forget to do that, okay? All right, I'm gonna pull up my other ideas for bookings. Um, I saw that Amanda is getting traction with her... Um, Amanda's getting traction with putting a post inside of her group, okay? Uh, you guys, I've made connections, and depending on your network of people, are you guys in any kind of groups, and this may not be allowed, but are you in any kind of groups that would allow you to go do a post like this? Some will, some won't. So don't, like, get yourself kicked out of a group. But if you're not having your own group to post in, but you have a network of, like you have a group that you're in, maybe a mom's group or something. And a lot of times those type of groups will do monthly promo thread. So right now is October 5th. They might've recently done a monthly promo thread. For your promo, do a graphic, like just like your bold Facebook post, do a graphic and say, looking for five of my mom friends to get a couple of your girls together. I've got a $25, what do you have? I've got a $25 Target gift card in my hands for the first five. I mean, I just made that up. So that would be a lot of money if you don't want to spend it that, if you don't want to, if that, if you don't usually make 25 at a party, don't do that, okay? But you guys, as long as you're going to make enough to pay it off and you're going to meet new people, you could say when your party reaches 150 or whatever you need to make, but speak their language, okay? Um, all right, I'm um, looking through all my stuff. Okay, we've talked about this one. Now I'm gonna save that one for later because who has new products coming out? So it's October and I know that in my company right now, we just, oh, somebody just got a booking. 
on the 24th. If you didn't authorize StreamYard, that's why I can't see your name, but I will be able to see them at the end. Um, I'm going to come back to my idea in a second. Jessica got one. <laughs> Jessica got two more. <laughs> Yay. Hey, are y'all worried about what to do once you get the yes? If you're like, now what? Okay. If you don't know what to do, drop um, challenge in the comments. If you haven't taken the challenge yet, day two is tomorrow. So you're, if you're not in my five day challenge tomorrow, we talk about what you do once you get the booking. Okay. If you do not know what to do once you get the booking, you need to be in that challenge. Okay. So drop challenge below. Amanda says she loves this and would love to pick my brain on how to do this. I don't know what we're talking about, but we can talk more about it after this because I don't know what we're talking about. Maybe about the vendor fair idea. Don't know. Okay. Um, let me get back to what I was just telling you guys as your next idea, which I already thought I already forgot. So I got to jump into it. Okay. New products. Who has new products coming out? Um, this is a great reason for you guys to host, right? So y'all can be like hosting, um, your own like holiday party who has new products coming out. So a lot of times at holidays, you guys are going to have special products coming out. So this could be a great way to reach out to all of your customers. Remember in the um, beginning, we said reach out to a couple of your best customers and offer them some exclusive host sets with new products coming out for the holidays. Everybody wants to get their hands on that if they already know your products and love them. So you can be reaching out to your customer list and just say, hey, I'm booking a, y'all need to like do FOMO, right? Fear of missing out. Um, I'm doing a couple of exclusive host um, holiday parties for my customers. I'm going to be debuting the holiday line and I want to help you earn some of your Christmas gifts or whatever holiday they celebrate. Can I make it worth your time to get a couple friends together and be one of my hostesses at a quick, fun little Facebook holiday event? Okay. You can do this with all of your customers. Direct reach out like a personalized ask is always best. Be thoughtful. Don't just be scripted. I will, in my default mode, like send out a quick email to all of my customers. So if you guys are in a booking blitz, which you are, you're like, hey, customer, holiday lines out. I've got 15 minutes. I'm putting together. Uh, I'm in a little challenge and I'm putting together some last minute um, bookings for a holiday party next week. We know y'all, y'all know that if the postmaster said, if you do not order by October, you may not get it by Christmas. That is not a lie. That is not something I said. Postmaster told me that. There's articles in LinkedIn about it that I saw floating around too. So go to your customers and say, I want you to get your hands on this holiday stuff before it sells out. I want to help your friends get some shopping done. Take a couple things off their plate. Can I make it worth it to you to get a few friends together for a fun little holiday Facebook event? Okay. That is really a fun way to get to like help the customer know what's in it for them. Somebody says they, I can't see it. It's not letting me scroll my comments. Let's see what it says. Finally got one on Tuesday, November 24th. That's right before Thanksgiving. That's fun. I bet you can do, do some Black Friday stuff too. Okay, let's do another winner. I am going to pick, I'm going to go through everybody that has posted and shared out on your Facebook wall a curiosity post or a um, engagement post to try and get some conversations going. I'm going to have to pull up the comments on my phone for this because if you didn't authorize StreamYard, I just can't see um, the names. So I'm going to go through my comments on that and I'm going to pick a winner. If I pick you, you get to pick any number except eight and we'll announce what your prize is. All right, you guys, we have 551 comments. Y'all are like rolling. Are you having fun? Is anybody having fun? If you had fun, you won, right? I used to say that when I was a teacher. If you had fun, you won. But really, you're here to get bookings. Okay, um, let me, Diane, I might need your help on this one because some people didn't authorize StreamYard, so I can't see their name. And when I pull up my comments on my phone, it's doing the live stream. Diane, can you see all the comments or do we have to wait till the end for this one? If we have to wait to the end for that winner, that's okay. We can do that. But if you can, message me. Um, a winner from one person who shared their uh, curiosity post out on their Facebook wall, 
then I will pick a winner from them. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go pick, if y'all have not done this yet, you need to like or heart this post right here. And I'm going to pull up from everybody who's done that. So far, there's 41 of you who have liked this post. Okay. If you have not done that yet, like, like it, heart it, hit the, hit the button, the care button, something, just don't hit the sad button. And I'm going to pick from somebody there and I'll do a prize for that. And then I, oh, Diane says we have to wait till the end. Okay. I will write that one down. So for the curiosity people, we have to wait till the end. Curiosity end. All right. I'm going to pull up my list of people who have liked and or commented, and I'm going to pick a winner from that. And then you're going to get to pick any number except number eight. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys are hitting hearts. You're like, I want in right now. I need in right now. All right. This is a winner for whatever, whatever, you, whatever you choose is what you win. Anything but number eight, Maggie, Maggie Lewis, Maggie Sanders Lewis. All right, Maggie, pick any number between one and 12 except number eight. Maggie, Maggie, and if you win something that you've already purchased, Maggie, I'll let you pick a different number, okay? Maggie Lewis, any number between one and 12, but do not pick number eight. And if you already own this, because I know you're in a couple of my courses, I will have you pick a different number. Um, somebody said, can you see my name? Whoever said that, I cannot. So maybe just type, okay, Maggie, I see that you said yay. So go ahead and type me a number between one and 12, but not number eight. And let's see if you can win something new, okay? Maggie picks number three. Oh, you don't have this yet. Oh, actually, Maggie, let me ask you a question. You might have this. You might have this. Do you have my onboarding and getting started course? Do you have my onboarding and getting started course? If so, you're gonna pick a new number because this is something inside of there that you may not have gotten to yet, but it's in like phase three, okay? Maybe it's in phase two. If you have the onboarding and getting started course, it's um, it's something inside of there, which I'm not gonna say what it is in case you already have it. I wanna give it to somebody else, okay? So Maggie, drop in the comments below if you already have the onboarding course. If so, I'm gonna pick you a new number and maybe I'll just give you some numbers to pick from to help you out. Okay, you guys, you guys have 12 more minutes. Remember, you are trying to beat your own personal best, but we are going to have a prize, the big prize for the person who gets the most bookings. Maggie says she has, yes, she has this. Okay, Maggie, here's your numbers. I know these things you don't have. Pick from these numbers. Number one, number two, number four, number five, And number 12, Maggie, pick one of those numbers because I know you don't have any of those things yet. You own a lot of my stuff. <laughs> you are like at the top level with me. So you own a lot of my stuff. So number one, number two, number four, number five, and number 12, I know for sure you don't have any of those things. So pick one of those numbers and then we will give you a new prize. Okay, guys, I wanna go through, um, let me pull up a couple more booking ideas if you are looking for some last minute ideas. Um, okay, this one is super fun, very different, very outside of the box. I like to do things differently. If you have done a training with me, I came up with this idea during day one, all right? Um, depending on your company, you guys can totally do this with your company's products or you might have to kind of do something like where you, okay, here's my idea. I did a curiosity post and I said, who works in an office environment where you still have a lunch break. Okay, Maggie, I'm gonna come back to you in just a second, all right? Who works in an office environment where you still have a lunch break, okay? That was a curiosity post. When people commented on that, I was booking lunch party, lunch room parties, okay? I used to do this in person all the time. Erin Townsend was um, works at an orthodontics office and I got to actually go in person Y'all might be able to do that. Some of you might be getting in-person bookings. I don't think they're probably gonna let you come in and do this, but if they would, great. Because we really can't do it and because I wanna do things virtually, I posted like, who still works in an office where you get a lunch break? Then I private messaged them. I was like, hey, I'm putting together a couple of virtual 
lunchroom events, a couple of virtual lunch and learns, a couple of lunch happy hours, call it whatever you want, okay? Then I said, you know, what, what I'll do is I'm putting together a couple events. I'm going to send you and your coworkers blank. Like, what are you going to send them? Okay. Bagels. I don't know Have bread co deliver them some bagels. If you're with a company that your products make sense, then send the products. Like if you have consumables. So we actually have nutrition. So I, I like to send them parts of like our, our detox tea or our fizz or whatever. I said, I will send you and your coworkers that. And during your lunch break, you're going to pop on a, a quick little Facebook event and I'll talk to you about how to use it. OK, if you know about people who work in a lunchroom like they like free stuff. Right. And if you remember, if you guys are home party people and you go back to when you used to do home parties, you had to demo your products. You had to pay for gas and travel. You guys are in a virtual world where it really doesn't cost as much to do business anymore. So investing a little bit and being creative for something like, like this might be worth it. It was fun for me. I got two instant yeses. They said, oh my gosh, that sounds really kind of fun and cool. That's different. That gets you into a completely different network of different types of people, right? So maybe they're all teachers maybe, and you guys, oh God, go do it for your teachers. Wouldn't that be fun if you're like, hey, I want to do this for you. I'm putting together a couple of teach um, teacher lunch and learns. I'm going to have Panera send you guys some bagels. I'm going to send you some of my favorite, whatever it is, if you have a consumable. If you guys are with um, P all the peach girls who are with style, get creative, y'all. Like, think outside of the box and quit limiting yourself to, like, I can't do that. Yes, you can. Go do a style event for the teachers and show them some ways that teaching can be comfortable but also stylish. Like, help them feel great about themselves and send them some bagels and have the host, like, pop you on. I think it's fun. Okay. Somebody said they're getting frustrated. I want you to tell me what you're doing. Tell me what you're doing because guess what? This just makes you incredibly normal, incredibly normal. And the win is that you're out there asking. The thing I'd encourage you guys to do is really look at how many actual people you've asked and how many have responded. If you're getting like 10 no's in a row, I would talk to your upline. If you're in a coaching program with me, let's talk that through. It would be normal to get one out of 10. You all know that, right? And sometimes we ask five and we get no's and it feels like a thousand, right? Like you, you guys know the numbers game, but we're trying to think of more fun and effective ways. We've got some uh, Maggie. Okay, let's go back to Maggie's prize and then we've got some fun. Whoever said you are getting frustrated, listen, I did parties in my closet where hostesses didn't even show up, where I gave stuff away and people just kept showing up for the free stuff. And I sold not, I know frustration. I totally, totally get it. But you should have at least one because you should be your own host. Okay. So I can't see who your name is um, right now, but you guys remember everybody needs to be their own host. Maggie, you picked number four. All right, Maggie, I'm going to be sending you our new virtual party checklist. It has everything you need in like an Excel type sheet. It's a download for your hostesses for the whole month. And then Diane created this for you. It goes across listing every single step you need to do so that you have all of your hostesses in one place and you never miss a step because you've been through enough trainings with me, you know how important those are. That is a digital download, so you will be getting access to that. Will you please private message me? If you guys want that, that is something over in the online school. Tiffany Herman has 12, Hermanson has 12 bookings. <laughs> how many did you have at 7.30 Central? Oh my gosh, 50 minutes later, you got 12? Now, for the people who are stuck and frustrated, Tiffany, you need to tell us what you're doing. What are you doing to get those yeses, okay? Booking for November 21st. <laughs> Lindsay's got her sixth one. <laughs> Off your post. Your post is like working. That's what you're telling me. Your post is working. Okay, April's got one for the 13th and 15th. <laughs> okay, now, Sarah Summers, keep asking. So Sam, I guess it was Sarah that said she's frustrated. Bring them in as guests, you guys. I will be honest with you, okay? Those of you who are rocking it out with like six and eight and 12 bookings, you got five more minutes. Those of you who are rocking it out, I wasn't like that. <laughs> I didn't know creative ways to get bookings. I literally was a scripted copy and paste girl. I probably burned a lot of relationships. A lot of people that maybe I could have got a yes from, I got a like, no thanks, you're just like everybody else because you spammed me, but I did what I did, okay? 
So the majority of my success in virtuals actually stemmed off of a couple people that I personally knew and then bookings off my first parties that I was a host. Because if you can get people in and give them the experience, you play some fun games, you make the live video fun, you make it worth it to them, they're going to want to book with you. Okay. If you don't know how to do that, um, that's what, that's what we teach. That's what we do in our courses. Okay. Uh, show us your last post. Whoever, I bet you're talking to Lindsay. Lindsay, can you show us the post that's getting you guys all the results? Um, you know, interesting thing. Sometimes you guys, like we look at other people getting results and we think like something's wrong with us, right? Nothing's wrong with you. They might have a different network. They might be more consistently posting out on social media, which simply means that more people are going to see what they post and they might be expanding their network. If y'all need help with any of that, that's part of what I love to teach inside of this group, but it's part of what we dig into more deeply in the Evergreen course and in all my challenges really is how to expand your network because sometimes the people you know the most <laughs> are not the people most likely to book for you and join join your team. So you've got to get out of the network. So some people might get, get more results because they're more consistently posting. One of the uh, prizes tonight is my social media content calendar to show you the different types of things you should be posting and when you should post them, okay? All right, Duane has got October 12th. Uh, Renee. Crystal. Oh, Crystal. I'm so stinking proud of you because I know that you're just like me. You're just like me. Like if you can just get some bookings, you're going to show up and you're going to do it, right? I like to just commit myself and then figure it out later. <laughs> some people are like planners. They got to know how to do everything. I'm just like, book the date. I'll figure it out. Um, and Crystal has so much amazing value to give people. Oh, okay. Lindsay said she got one off her post, not six, but that's one is more than zero. Um, Haley said she got two more messaging now to get her calendar penciled into the first five hostesses. I love that verbiage. If you guys are getting like, I don't know, you got three minutes. If you're getting some I don't knows, you could just be like this. Hey, can we just pencil in a date? Go back to all your maybes right now, guys. Go back to all your maybes and say, hey, guess what? Can we just pencil in a date? And then I can count it as a yes. The blitz is almost over. Can we just pencil it in? And then you guys know what I say. Once that date's getting close, you just move on as if it's happening. Hey, I've got you on for the 12th. It's time to start inviting people. You just assume that everything's good. If it's not, they'll tell you, okay? Somebody said, can we do another blitz like this? This is awesome. Good, because I I'm promising you I'm forgetting stuff. And yes, I would love to. I've already thought, like, maybe we should do it, like, the end of each month so you can fill for the next month or the third Monday of the month. So if you guys are having fun and you want to do this again, please drop in the comments below. Lindsay's got six total for the night. It ain't over, girl. You got two minutes. <laughs> it's not over. Um, saw my post wasn't working. Somebody said their post was not working. They started texting and said, hey, I'm in the middle of a booking blitz. I have a favor. Could you host a live party? Here's some dates, okay? What some people say very directly is like, hey, please reply with yes, no, or maybe. <laughs> I'm in a booking blitz. I'm looking for a couple hostesses that I can pamper like via virtual, whatever. Y'all know that I send my hostess um, a goodie bag. You can pamper her through the mail. Send her a couple things to make her feel special. Okay. For doing that for you. Um, you could even send a couple key guests, a couple of um, goodie bags. All right. Doesn't have to be anything big. Um, April. <laughs> oh my goodness, girl. Your calendar is full. Lindsay said she has to watch the replay. She hasn't been able to hear everything. I know. I know you guys are like busy. That's the point. Like if you didn't hear any of this, that means you're busy booking. Lindsay, you got six bookings because you're busy booking. That's amazing. Teresa said, if you ask someone to host who's not on Facebook and they say yes, how do you invite people if there's no party group to post in? So um, Heather actually talked about doing Instagram parties. I know people who do Zoom parties, okay? You don't have to be having them on the Facebook platform. I love live video. There's actually, some of you guys use um, Squeegee. Is it called Squeegee? There's different apps that like you can host parties on. But the biggest thing, Teresa, have you gone through the whole five-day challenge? When I do my parties, the biggest focus is the live. Like, I just want them connecting with me live. Setting up the event, doing some posts, all the fun things is just to drive traffic to the live party. So if you can do a really good job of building up that excitement, be like, hey, it's 8.30, 
on Zoom on Tuesday, you don't need a group and an event and all the posts. Sometimes people get really tied up in that part and then they get no results because they're like, my party was pretty, but you didn't get people to the actual live or you didn't do a live. So you just looked like somebody else posting a bunch of stuff in a group. Okay. Uh, Lindsay on the 7th. <laughs> awesome. April. Okay. I'm going to have to save all my blowers for the end. April's got someone penciled in for the 15th. I count it as a yes. Absolutely. Eileen's got the 23rd. Amanda said, do it again. Someone else said, let's do it again. Lindsay said six for the night so far, not six off that list, off that post. Yes. So we, we got clarity on that, but you got one. So that's awesome. Uh, Maggie said, just think how many people we might hear from tomorrow. You guys are right. You're just getting the ball rolling. If you got something booked, this is only the beginning. And Heidi's got six booked. Okay. Pencils down. Okay. <laughs> okay, students. Like pencils down. I feel like the teacher. Stop booking as far as numbers. If you guys need to keep rolling because you're having fun, don't stop. Here's what I need you to do. Jean just got two. That's awesome. I need you to stop for like the tally. Okay. And I need everybody to um, comment in the comments below with two things. So I need you to hear me on this in just a second, okay? Um, somebody said they didn't get any yeses tonight. You guys know, because you're in network marketing, the hardest part is what you just did for the last hour. That is the hardest part. It is hard to put yourself out there. We do so many things in our head, so many like lies about like what people are going to think of us if we ask them to book a little Facebook party. Really? Like, really? So if you got through this last hour and you even did one uncomfortable thing, like pat yourself on the back. Type in the comments below if you did one uncomfortable thing, because I am proud of you and that is a big deal. Okay. For our winners, here's what I need you to post. I need you to go back to that personal best number. Okay. So there's going to be two things you guys post and I need you to like here, let me type it in the banner. I need you to type um, your personal best and your number, okay? And your new personal best and your number, okay? These are, so let me say type, type your personal best before we blitz. And this is not your total that you got tonight. So let me explain this. Type your, okay. So I want you guys to first type this because this is gonna be a prize. This is where you are in competition with yourself, all right? When we started, I asked you, what is your personal best? Like what is the highest number you've done in any single month? And maybe you estimated and that's okay, okay? So what is the highest number you've ever done in any single month? Type that in the comments below with PB and the number. Then I want you to give me your new personal best in that same post. So if you said in the beginning, my personal best was four, but my new personal best is now eight because now I have eight in October or eight in November, type it below. Okay. So it might take a minute to understand what I'm saying. I'll say, I'll say it again. Personal best and the number for what you said at the beginning of the blitz. Like before this blitz, the most parties I ever did in any single month was PB number. Now my new PB number is blank because now you've done the blitz and you've got more bookings on your calendar. We're going to have a competition with ourself. Okay. I need that all in one post. So just like this with Tiffany, look at that. Holy Moses. <laughs> Tiffany, are you prepared to do 12 parties in one month? You are going to have fun. Y'all, if you do this, you will not regret it. If you just get into massive momentum, you will not regret it. Okay. Before this blitz, Tiffany's personal best was three. Her new personal best is 12. Does that mean that some might cancel? Maybe. Does that mean that some are going to sell more than others? Yes, that's part of the game. You got to do this part though. You got to get the bookings. Okay. Haley said her personal best was six. Okay. Her goal is 10 and she currently has three. That's awesome. Jessica said her personal best. Okay. Jess, does this mean your personal best was two? And now you've got a new personal best of three, like booked. Okay. Sam said her personal best before the blitz was three. Her new personal best is four. And y'all know you're not done, right? You might, and I'm talking, talking like bookings. Look at this. This is huge. April had four as her personal best prior, and now nine is her new personal best. And we're talking like just, you know, on the calendar, okay? Um, personal best 
two and new personal best is still at two, but you're still working on it. And that is right. You guys are right in the beginning. You are right in the beginning. And this is amazing. Um, Vicki said her personal uh, best was five. Her goal was 10 and she got four booked. You guys that had massive goals like that, that's a lot, right? If you can knock out 10 bookings in one hour, that is amazing. So if you got one or two, like that's pretty average. So like, congratulations, this is a huge deal. Okay, so keep going, Diane, I need a big favor from you. Will you look at this and let them keep typing um, another minute or so? And then will you type to me who had the biggest difference? Right now, I think it's April. Who had the biggest difference between their, oh, Amanda. Amanda had one and her new personal best is now six. That's a difference of five. April had a difference of five. Diane, keep looking through those for me. And let's say it's 836. Let's say at 840, we will announce the winner of the personal best, okay? So Diane, message me if that doesn't make sense. Because if not, if it doesn't make sense, I would understand. Sometimes, sometimes I do confusing things. Okay. Now, uh, somebody had a personal best of 12. They've got a new personal best of 12. They got four tonight. All right. Now, here's the second part. Okay. Here's the second part. This is our, um, so let me write down what we're doing. We need our personal best, like who had the biggest increase in their personal best. And now we need um, how many bookings you guys got tonight total tonight and this one we're going to announce at the very end because this is our big price let me type this for you total bookings from this blitz okay now when you do this i want you to say total booked tonight and the number and i'll show you this on the banner so you guys know exactly what to type I want you, and I'm not worried, like if you guys get canceled or rescheduled, that stuff happens. I need to next know, everybody drop in the comments, how many total bookings, and if you already answered it, please answer it again, okay? How many bookings did you get in this last hour? Total number of bookings from tonight. Drop that in the comments below, okay? So, Diane, Diane, are you staying busy? <laughs> Will you, watch, will you watch this number too? Because I don't want to miss anything. I'm going to be watching the comments. I need to know your total bookings that everybody can count their own, but that y'all should have one, right? Y'all should have one because you booked yourself. You can count that. You are a hostess, right? If you booked yourself like 52 times, no, just count yourself once, okay? Count yourself once. Oh, Anne-Marie just got a booking. Winning, winning. Okay. Uh, Total booked tonight. Lindsay has seven. Vicki has four. Renee has four. Somebody else has four. And I know Diane can see your names, so don't worry if I can't. Um, two bookings tonight. Nine bookings for April. That's crazy. Um, one booking. Three bookings. This is amazing. Total booked tonight. Okay, keep commenting those. All right, I've got to pull up my list. I've got to pull up my list of all the prizes I'm supposed to be given tonight and see what I'm missing. Um, and if you guys, like I told you, you're here till nine. So just sit, get, sit, sit back and get comfy. Like take some deep breaths. It's over and you did it. It's amazing. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Company with the most consultants attending. Diane, if you know that, you're going to private message me that if we have to wait for all the comments to come in, we can announce that as soon as this is over. So number of um, the company with the most consultants, we have to announce that. And if she can send that to me, we will announce that right now on the live. If we, you guys, you know, Facebook posts have changed, like Facebook changed where you can't see all the comments. Um, like you can't scroll back. It's really dumb. Okay. A uh, number of bookings we're doing right now. Let me pop back over and see how we're doing. Um, I sent heaps of messages, but no dates. You know what? Now you got a bunch of follow-ups. That's awesome. You got activity on your calendar. Jessica got three. Jean got two. We've got two there, one there. Um, Sam had one before she started. She booked seven tonight and she's waiting on a date for her eighth. Amanda got six, two, two. Um, Jessica changes hers to four. All right. Um, bookings are coming. This is awesome, you guys. Awesome. Okay. While we're waiting for some tallies for who the winner is for the most bookings and who the winner is for the increase in your personal best, um, 838, I'm adding the one. Okay. I'm adding the one. She's at, Diane's adding you guys some stuff up. Okay. <laughs> 
Eileen said she got two when the pencils went down. Hey, thanks for being honest. While we're waiting for the winners, let me see what else we're giving away tonight. Okay. Um, number of bookings, we're doing that. Random attendance and participation awards, we're going to do another one of those. Uh, we're doing gift cards. Okay, I've got my strategy guide to give away with my 30-day calendar. Daily activity tracker. Uh, virtual parties made simple. Ooh, you guys, this is new. Workbook, training program, um, Trello board, all the things. Evergreen party group and funnel system. And I actually added in some other things, okay? So we're gonna be doing those. Let me go ahead and pick a random person while we're sitting here waiting. Um, I'm just gonna scroll up and down my comments while Diane's counting the people. I'm just gonna pick somebody. I'm gonna hit enter. Haley Ward, you get to be a random participant winner. So Haley, I need you to pick between, I'm just gonna say all the numbers that are left. Um, number one, number two, number three, and I'm gonna say the ones that you haven't bought already. Um, Haley, pick between one, two, three, five, nine, 10, 11, and 12. All of those, Haley, if you will pick one of those numbers, if you need me to repeat them, I will. Um, Haley, pick one of those, because those are things that you don't have yet. Haley Ward, pick a number. Random participation prize, right? Haley, let me drop over to comments and see if you need my, Haley said, that's me, I'm Haley. Do you need the, <laughs> you're so funny. You just, Haley just went through the five day challenge and she did awesome. Ooh, 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 Haley, this is good. Do you like Starbucks? I hope so. I have to, I have to separate these because these are each $10. Haley, you got two things. This is a big prize. Haley, let me write your name down first of all. If you guys don't like what I give you tonight, like this, I always re-gift what I don't like into my party prizes. Y'all know that. <laughs> Y'all know that, right? If you've met me before, I just give it away. I'm like, hey, this is now my new booking prize. Haley gets a $10 Starbucks card and, and you get a $50 credit toward my university with all of these things we're giving away tonight. So I'm gonna show you guys that while we're waiting for some other winners. Amanda, you're welcome. Uh, as with anything that I just make up and, and go do, I would I would appreciate constructive criticism, like be nice. If there's something that like could have gone better or something you'd like to see improved, please private message me. This is literally our first one, okay? Um, Haley is our winner and she got the, um, uh, Starbucks gift card and $50 toward the school. Okay, so I'm gonna pop into my comments and see if I have any of that announced. Poor Diane, she's like, tally, tally, tally. Okay, so we still got 17 minutes on. Let me share my screen and show you guys some things and tell you something major that's amazing that I decided at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh my God, I make these things up at two o'clock in the morning. So you guys can go to this website. This is my online school, okay? Um, let me see if I can open it generically. Mm, I don't know how to share the generic page. Okay, but anyway, it's called PCAT-U, okay? PCAT-U is this like online school I made where I put together my courses and trainings so that when we do this stuff in person, you still have a way to go back to it, okay? So tonight, if you've taken any of these courses or challenges below, I'm gonna do a special drawing for you guys. So if you have taken um, the virtual parties five day um, challenge, I have actually put together this into something brand new. And I'm gonna pick one of you guys to win this because if you've been through the virtual party challenge, it's a $15 challenge that anybody can take. And if you've done this before, it's pretty intense, isn't it? Like sometimes you walk in thinking, oh, I'm just going to learn what to post and when to post. And then you're like, holy Moses, there's a lot of things behind a successful party, right? So inside of this, I have put together inside of Teachable a complete course, which the virtual party challenge is just a $15 challenge. It's five days. You don't have the trainings once it's over and you don't have access to like the workbook and unless I did an incentive with you and you don't have access to all the graphics. 
Um, I have put this together in an actual course. It is for sale if y'all want to buy it. But for my challengers that have walked through this, you're going to love it because you guys asked for this. I've got the trainings. I've got the full 60 page workbook, which again, I will not take credit for putting this into writing. This is all Diane. Diane does all this stuff for you guys. If you are like, oh, I wish I had that in writing, now you do. It's a workbook with fill in the blanks. If you need to go back through the videos or you wanna walk through the live challenge, again, you can do that, okay? We've got that. She puts together this Trello board, which did anybody win that yet? Nobody won that one yet. We still actually have this as a prize, but this, if you get the virtual party um, course that I now have, you'll also get the Trello board. So Diane puts together everything you need to do from the start of a party, three days before the party. This is all the stuff we go through together in the five day challenge, okay? But now you have it accessible. She literally has like where you pop this open and it has the like scripts that you guys, like you're like, what do I send my hostess, okay? It's all right here. Is this not amazing? Oh my gosh, Diane, you're amazing. Okay, let me pick a five-day challenger for that. Uh, let me stop my share. Comments. Okay, I have from here in this group, you guys, if you didn't comment yet, if you took the five-day challenge, comment right now because I'm about to pick a winner for that where you can have this inside a Teachable, okay? Comment below if you have taken the five-day challenge. This is a drawing for you. April's taken it. Haley's taken it. She just graduated on Friday, by the way. Um, somebody else took it and it doesn't show your name. This person right here, if that looks like your comment and you win, you're going to have to just type me your name. Okay. This person right here, if that looks like your comment, you will have to type me your name if you win. Lindsay took it. Amanda took it. She graduated. Amanda just got her graduation gift in the mail, by the way. Um, Renee took it, but that's not what your comment was. Jean just, Jean just got done with it. Uh, Okay. Make sure you type in like virtual party or five days. I'm about to pick a winner and you're going to get the teachable course. Okay. 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 All right. I got to start. If I accidentally pick a comment that's not about the five day, I'll just pick a different one. Okay. This is the winner of the new teachable course. Da -na 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 -na. And you guys, even those of you who are in evergreen, you don't have this. You might have the workbook and that's it. Our winner is. <laughs> who said I did it? <laughs> That doesn't, who said I did it? If you just said I did it, will you please tell me if you meant the five day? And if so, what's your name? Actually, I could look on the comments. I can look on, um, I can look inside of, if that was you, did you take the five day challenge? And what's your name? Because you didn't authorize StreamYard, which is fine. Some people don't know what that means, but it means I can't see it. Okay, if that was you, that means you won. It's worth $199, by the way. And you're not going to have to pay $199 if you want to buy it. Who is that comment? I need to know. Who said I did it? Because I want to give you the five-day challenge. Okay. Or the five-day course. All right. So back to um, Camilla. Camilla, was that you? You're going to love this. You're going to love this. Camilla is actually an evergreen. So she's in the next step. Awesome. You just got through that five days. And this is going to be so great for you because you have to have the foundation to be able to do the evergreen party course. So that's amazing. Awesome, Camilla, that is yours. I'm gonna write your name down. Um, that is Camilla. Okay, and you do get a five-day challenge with that. So since you've already been through that, you can gift that to someone. I know you refer to a ton of people. Okay, let me check my comments and see if I have any other of the winners. Okay, are you guys ready? Our personal best winner is dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna type your name just because it's more fun. Our personal best winner is Tiffany. Personal best winner, T-I-F-F-N-Y Henderson. Is that what I saw? Tiffany Hermanson. Congratulations. Tiffany, I hope you're on. By the way, must be present to win. I didn't say that at the end. I mean, I didn't say that at the beginning, okay? Tiffany, please pick a number if you're here. Please pick a number if you're here. Your choices are two, three, five, six, nine, 11, and 12. Tiffany, pick a number 
Okay. All right. While Tiffany's picking a number, I'm going to do another random prize. Tag Tiffany if she's not here, guys. All right. Random prize means I'm scrolling up to like 500 comments. However many comments have come through, I'm going to scroll. I'm going to pick one. Okay. If I close my eyes forever. Hey, na name that tune. <laughs> let's play a, Let's play another game. Name that tune. <laughs> you know, I have family that can sing, but it's not me. Okay. Our next random person is Amanda. All right, Amanda, after Tiffany picks, you get to be another random prize winner. Okay, you guys, the ones that we cannot pick, I mean, the ones that we cannot announce until the end are those of you who got to, um, who did a curiosity post. Um, we're gonna go through those at the end. And I think, Diane, do we need to wait for the company that had the most until the end, or can we tell that now? Um, let me know if we need to wait on that. Okay. All right. So let me see if Tiffany answered what she wants for her prize. Tiffany, Tiffany, you said number 12. Ooh. All right. Tiffany, you get $67 to go spend over in the teachable store. $67. Private message me. Okay. Private message me because I have to give you a code for that. So Tiffany, private message me. You've got $67, okay? So let's go back to that. And then Amanda, you're going to get to pick your prize. And I've got, I don't know, five more prizes or something. How much time do I got left? Nine minutes. Okay. Um, let me screen share again so you guys can see what else is inside of Teachable. If you want to shop tonight, okay? And you're like, what is that five-day challenge? What are, I don't know, I want that Trello board. I want whatever the things are. You guys can go shop in the store, and if you use the code BLITZ, let me type this out. Amanda, I'm going to do your prize in just a second. Use, this is important, if you guys go shopping, B-L-I-T-Z, I don't know if it has to be all capital. If you guys decide to shop tonight and you use the code BLITZ, it's going to discount your stuff for the next 24 hours, okay? You have to use this code. And um, Diane, I know you're probably busy. Diane, are you busy? <laughs> uh, if you're not busy, <laughs> could somebody type this in the comments for me? Oh, I got an idea. I can type it in the comments by myself. Duh, hello. Um, I will type this in the comments. In fact, I'll also post it in the group. But if you guys decide that you want to shop any of our courses, any of our products, you have until, um, I know we've got some people from New Zealand, so y'all are on a completely different day. Today is Monday in the United States at nine o'clock, okay? So if you're in the US, you have until 9 p.m. Central on Tuesday to get into the Blitz discounts, okay? If you are in New Zealand, that means you have until, somebody needs to tell me, three o'clock on Wednesday, right? So the New Zealand people have until three o'clock on Wednesday to get into the extra discounts. Now. Let me pop over to Teachable again so I can show you guys what all is in there once again. Those of you who are winning vouchers, you can just, you can just pick what you want and I'm going to like send it to you, okay? Those of you who just want to make purchases, there is up to 50% off um, some of the courses and such, okay? So use that. All right, Amanda, I want you to pick your number. <laughs> Amanda, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Crystal. 67 is a random number, but hello, we're going to remember it now, right? She won 67 bucks. Tiffany won $67. Okay, which is actually free stuff, or she can use it off of the cost of something up to you. Amanda Mace, that means you have all the numbers that Tiffany did not pick. Um, Tiffany picked number 12. Amanda Mace, I need you to pick between number two, number three, number five, number nine. And number 11. Okay, Amanda, you got that? Pam says, I'm getting good with the time. I got six. Oh, yes, to do the conversion into um, New Zealand. I spent a whole week with New Zealand women, and that was amazing. That really made me realize the power of social media. Okay, I have our I have our grand prize winner, but I'm not going to announce them quite yet. Not quite yet. Okay, I'm going to tell you at the end who won the big prize for the most bookings. Y'all might be able to figure it out. Um, okay, so view my school. Let me see what else I want to show you guys. Those of you who are winning vouchers, all right, um, this is the stuff you can pick from. Those of you who just want to shop, this is what you can shop from, okay? 
Um, I'm going to walk this through real quick and then we'll do the rest of our winners. And then I'm just going to say thank you. I hope it was fun. I hope you got some bookings. And if nothing else, I hope you just had a good time. Okay, let's start bottom to top. If you guys want to purchase any of these things, some of these are discounted like 25% and some are discounted 50% if you go use the code blitz and that's super important okay you have to use the code blitz for that discount to apply um the booking blitz trello board is up there all right and as soon as you if you guys have been in teachable if you're already logged in like with a, an account as soon as you buy it it's just instant access like you instantly get it you could do it through your computer you can access it on your phone through the app if you have video trainings, that makes it super convenient. The Trello board is not a video training. It's the whole Trello board for how to do your own booking blitz. So team leaders, you could bring your team into this next one or you can do your own based on what we did tonight. And this is everything that you got to do. Okay, start to finish. Um, oops, I didn't mean to click that button, but okay. The virtual party Trello board, um, that is for your personal parties. What you need to do from asking for bookings to setting it up, everything you need to post and how to follow up. The virtual party tracker is your sheet. This is what, um, somebody won this, did Maggie win this? Um, that is for your whole month, for your hostesses, what you need to be doing three days, two days, one day. It's like your check marks to make sure you don't miss anything, okay? The virtual five day challenge, this is really important on this one, you guys. If you just want to go through the challenge, it's $15. If you purchase this inside of Teachable, it's everything I just showed you that Camilla won, okay? It's all the things. It's the complete program. Well, it didn't show you the whole course. Okay, I showed it to you earlier. It's everything. It's the workbook. It's the Trello board. It's the graphics. In fact, I even gave you Canva templates. So if you're on Canva and you want my graphics, I gave you templates. You can just go edit them, okay? The getting started is not for sale. And then the last one is Evergreen. And then um, this one is our big... Like this is a big dog. So if you are an evergreen student with me, drop evergreen below. I am going to put you into the $25 Amazon gift card, okay? So drop evergreen. I know you already did it once. Do it again, please. Um, the evergreen people, I'm putting you into the Amazon $25 gift drawing. So I need you to go ahead and comment evergreen below. If you're in the evergreen party course, you guys, Seriously, there's a 50% discount on this for 24 hours if you're not in it. If you're in my five-day challenge that just wrapped up, you guys actually have a special that's running for two more hours that you can double dip with the Blitz, okay? Crazy, all right? So Evergreen is the ultimate, like it's like a school. It's like an online school. You get all the things and you get this complete course where you can walk through it at your own pace it's got the workbook that diane did because she's stinking amazing i don't even know how many pages this thing is it's how to create not just a facebook group but a facebook party group so that you can do what we do now which is one party a week with multiple hostesses at one time but it's not that simple those of you that have been doing this with me We've already found things that you've got to tweak, that you've got to improve in order to get these groups working more effectively. We also teach you how to grow your group, not just through parties. This is your one size fits all, how you can recruit. Some of you have seen this, okay? If you don't know what this is about, go read, all right? Evergreen people, here we go. You're getting a $25 gift card if your name is, oops, let me stop the share. If your name is, <laughs> dang it. <laughs> Who is Facebook user that it, on my side, it shows between Crystal Harris and between Samantha, okay? <gasps> Sam, you're a new Evergreen student. She just signed up, yay, congratulations. Okay, one more minute, I gotta finish my winners. I like to be done when I say I'm gonna be done. Will somebody please tell me who this Evergreen person is? I don't know who you are, okay? Let me see, and I've gotta announce my big dog winner. Um, what else am I waiting on? We've got our personal best. We've got our top winner. Okay, you guys want to know who, who booked the most? When we're done, we're going to figure out the, the, the company that had the most consultants. And I have something for every single one of you. We're going to have to post that in the group. Okay. We're going to post the winner for um, a random curiosity post. Okay. Um, Diane, will you please tell me? I see a winner that just popped up, but I don't remember what it's for. What did that person win for? Will you tell me what that person won for? Because I don't. I don't remember what that person won for, but you won something. 
Um, okay, my, oh, Marta. Is that what you're telling me? Marta was the name that it didn't say. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Marta, you won a $25 Amazon gift card. Marta, if you are here, message me. I've got your name on here. Marta is, Marta, there she is. Marta is the $25 Amazon. Marta is a newer Evergreen student and she's just now starting her coaching, okay? Um, I think I've done all the winners except the ones I can't do except our grand prize winner. Y'all know who booked the most parties? Any wild guesses? Here she is. Okay, you guys ready? Here's our big winner. Is that right? Oh shoot, now I'm second guessing myself. Yes, Tiffany. Tiffany, you also got the most bookings. And Diane said you got, um, it says Tiffany booked the most, but it doesn't say how many. Did she have 12? Tiffany, did you have 12 tonight? Tiffany, you get your choice between my Evergreen Party course, which is normally like, I'm supposed to be selling it for a whole lot more than I sell it for, but right now, right now I sell it for $4.97. It's on a half off discount tonight, okay? It's way more value than that, but you can have that for free. If you want Evergreen, message me Evergreen. Otherwise, you get a $100 voucher to go spend however you want inside of there, plus a $10 Starbucks gift card. Congratulations, Tiffany. You guys, if you had fun, type the word fun below. And it is nine o'clock. Right now, I'm going to go post the link to the shopping store if y'all want to go take advantage. If not, no, no pressure, right? No pressure. But listen, I believe in what I'm doing. I believe that I can help you guys. I believe in virtual parties. And I have put a lot of time and effort into making this as accessible to you guys as possible so that if you do coaching with me, you've also got somewhere you can go back and access things. And Diane has made some amazing things for you guys. Thank you for being part of the Blitz. Some people said fun. Some people said fun. Some people said fun. If there's anything I miss, will somebody please like message me? Did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? All right. I've got a couple more random prizes. What I will do after we announce the winners for the things that we can't count until we're done, I've got a couple extra prizes. So I'm just going to be announcing some random winners inside the group. I want to cut the time because I said nine o'clock. We will go post the link to Teachable if you do want to check out any of the stuff we have in the store. And you got to use that code BLITZ, B-L-I-T-Z, um, for the access for the discount that is open until 24 hours from now. Like it just shuts down. It'll just go away. Okay. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. If you had fun and you want to do it again, I'll invite you the next time. If there are people that you want inside this group, add them because we do. Uh, Jessica will be live with you 10 o'clock on Thursday. Okay. And I'll be live with you again next um, Monday for social media stuff. All right. Message me if you won. Okay. Message me if you had. Um, Diane, I mean, uh, Renee, I have to go, I have to announce that after it's over because I didn't see that come through. We have to announce which company had the most. We have to announce um, a random post winner. And I have to announce, was there something else I have to announce? There might be something else that I can't do until we get off of here. And then I will let you guys know which company won. Okay. Way to go, Tiffany. That's amazing. Yes. I hope she comes into the course. Evergreen is amazing. It's my favorite place. I get to spend Tuesdays with you guys coaching and the course, I think the workbook, all the things. Jessica says, come see her on Thursday. She will be live 10 o'clock central. U.S. Uh, Thursday. Jessica goes live every Thursday with you guys. Okay. All right. You're welcome, Heidi. Renee says, let's do it again. All right. I'm just going to hang out and let the comments um, go down and say goodbye to everybody. And thank you guys all again. And Diane messaged me something. That I don't know what it means. I'm like, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Okay. Thank you guys again. Let's do it again. We will update everything we need to update in the group. So just pay attention to that. Congratulations to everybody who got bookings. Tell your friends about this group because we just want to keep adding more value and keep having fun. That's, that's my middle name. Fun, simple, fun, and effective. That's what I like to do. Okay. All right. All right. If there's anything else we missed out on, we'll fill in the gaps in the group. Make sure your notifications are on in the group. Vicki, you're welcome. I'll see you in the group. Okay. All right. I'm going to jump off here. I'm going to go add the teachable link for anybody who does want to shop anything. 
Um, I'm gonna chat with Diane about who the company was. Oh my God, I'm falling. Who the company was that had the most reps on and we'll pick the post and we'll announce the winners. All right, guys. All right, that's it. Bye for now.